So a few years ago, when I started this whole shebang, my own business, uh, my wife went online and ordered me a couple of black t-shirts with my logo on them. Now I thought they were great, but uh, she got them online and the t-shirt material was just, it was really thick. And most of the video that I shoot is up in my studio, which is kind of a dead room. I mean, the trick to voiceover is you don't want a lot of noise. You know, you've got to have it, like I said, a dead room, um, soundproofed, sound treated at very least soundproofed if you've got the money. But uh, when, when I want to go do a video or a Skype with a client or anything like that, if I want to zoom in there where I've got the best audio, it gets hot fast. But down here in my audition space, it's a little different audio wise till I figure that out. And it's, uh, but it's more wide open. I've got a little more opportunity with my lights and my backdrops and all that kind of stuff uh, to do TV and, and commercial auditions and that sort of stuff. So it's a little more temperate down here, but I still needed some t-shirt options. And uh, even when I'm working down here and moreover, when I'm working in the uh, uh, voiceover studio, I really only have one option. And that's my front facing camera. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but I, I, down here, I'm able to work a little bit more freely, but I needed more than one shirt. I wanted more than one color, but well, a few things. So my wife has really great intentions most of the time. Love her dearly. Uh, she supports my endeavors. Um, you know, she got me my first shirt, which I still wear that black t-shirt. I, I do. It, it works fine. Uh, but I just wanted more color options. And that black t-shirt in the winter is actually, it's, it's something I wear because I'm short sleeves most of the time. But um, I wanted more color options. I wanted something a little bit more poppy. Uh, like what I got now, you know, it stands out against the black back backdrop and, uh, and and I wanted thinner material for filming, whether I'm down here or in there, Wh wherever I am, I'm in front of lights or I'm in a closed off space. So I, I need to take uh, some sort of precaution for my own, you know, dampness. So this is funny. Um, she got so excited because she got me this gift, this surprise. And she was just waiting and waiting and waiting. And my wife's terrible at surprises. Uh, great at getting them, great at giving them, giving them early, thus ruining the surprise. But she really did try. And uh, let's see, I've got these right here. Hang on. This is, uh, she ordered me some bumper stickers. She got so excited. She said, just stupid cheap bumper stickers. Got them. Uh, great cost for, for not a lot of them. And now I don't know whether the dimensions weren't exactly disclosed or properly <laughs> disclosed or she didn't read them, but three inch by one inch. <laughs> so they're just teeny tiny and it's backwards, but I'll get to that in a second. I mean, they're backwards for you. They're, they're normal for me. So, um, I love these things. I really, I love these things. She messed up. She thinks she did, but she messed up and she did something right. Uh, she was so disappointed. She's like, oh, you know, uh, everybody in the business uh, who's, you know, remotely connected to voiceover acting or anything else uh, that I've shown these things to, they've all said the same thing I said. They were like, dude, you package those up with a card. You've got a marketing packet and stuff like that. And I'm like, even better, man. I work on set with these guys who were videographers and cameramen. And, you know, they slap stickers on their gear and stuff and on their boxes. So it'd be great. It's great. So, um, yeah, thank you to my wife. They're perfect. And uh, better than bumper stickers, because you know who's going to put my bumper sticker on their car? And if you want one, let me know. My buddy will help you. Uh, working from home, I get a lot of things done, and some days I even do work. And but when I'm <laughs> when I'm being a big boy or trying to be a big boy professional, I'm walking around in gym shorts or joggers and, and flip flops. It's just my day, man, and I love being comfortable. And it's one of the reasons I do what I do. But if I'm going to be really honest, part of me really does miss the days of slapping on somewhat of a uniform. And even in radio, I, I dress, you know, I mean, I, I work with guys who literally wore what I wear to bed to work. But, you know, at the same time, um, not everybody has to wear a tie, you know, in the radio business, who sees you? But you still, to be able to, to do something like that and look like a professional, when I worked in the car business, it was ties, it was polos, it was slacks. I mean, you went to work and you were a little uncomfortable. And I think you kind of have to be a little uncomfortable, you know, if you're going to leave the house to work. But how do you work from home and stay on task and stay focused? Well, I'm not going to be uncomfortable. That's just the way it is. So I got to have comfortable gear. I got to have, you know, but something that keeps me kind of 
grounded. And for me, there's just something about being at work. And I have struggled with that since I stepped away from the J-O-B and found what I do now. So I wanted t-shirts, but I wanted more colors. I wanted, um, you know, and sometimes this is it. Sometimes, like I said earlier, because of the way that I do video in my studio or here, whatever it is, it's like, 2020, we can have five different cameras on the back of your phone, but I can't get a resolution to a front-facing option where my logo isn't backward. I know, I know. So <laughs> I called my buddy in 2020. I mean, it's just it is what it is. But uh, I still couldn't get that resolved without mirroring my video, which I didn't always want to do. Right now, it's not a big deal because it's just wide open. It's black. It's button, you know, whatever. But in my studio, my microphone's always on one side. That never changes. It's static. And, and I just really wanted consistency. I hated the idea of flipping my videos and stuff like that. So I'm just picky. I'm a perfectionist. It's kind of what I do. So um, to solve that, I went out and I got a couple of t-shirts that are backward. Now, you don't see it because I'm using the front-facing camera because I'm trying to set up, but it's backward, and it's great. I love it. Um, and I do wear them in public because it makes people look and go, wait, what? Um, so it's, it's pretty clever, but I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You had T-shirts printed with your logo backwards for front-facing camera. They will look back one day and say, Josh Brandon, he was a prophet. It's true. So I don't want to mirror the video. I don't have to do that now. I have the t-shirts that look the way that I want them. And uh, I really like that. So someday, someday I think I'll have a parade in my honor for that. I'm surely I'm not the only one. Uh, so t-shirts for videos. I needed t-shirts to feel sort of more grounded and focused at work. So today I wear this shirt. I put one on. It's my uniform. And I'm working while I'm wearing it. And... Uh, and beyond that, I used to get really embarrassed with my dad when he owned his own businesses. He'd get these magnet signs and slap them on our car. And I'm like, oh, dad, come on, man, incognito. But uh, my dad always told me when he owned his own business, nobody knows if they don't know. So let them know. And you know what? I applied that when I programmed radio stations too. somebody once told me, um, ask them what they want, give it to them and, and tell them constantly that you're the one that gave them what they wanted. Um, these t-shirts were a great investment. So life story as it happens, you know, you've got that best friend, that guy that you just loved to death. And, and this guy was the guy that lived across the hall from me in my first dorm in college and at East Tennessee State. And you know what? He was one of my good close buddies for a while and life happened. We fell off. Uh, maybe I was an asshole. Who knows? Because that's probably a case. Uh, but we we reconnected on social media. One of the one of the positive things about social media, one of the things I really love about it, is you get to reconnect with people after years and years and, and catch back up. And you know what? When I got to talking to Matt, Matt's one of those guys who's kind of like me. Similar journey, entrepreneur, a lot of you know things going on, trying to make his way in the world. And I respect that, man. And I've got a network of small business people that are like me that do unique things. And Matt Shelton's one of those guys. So uh, I reached out to him on social media. Actually, I saw his post. This is really where it was. I mean, we reconnected and talked and stuff before that. But I saw him posting stuff because he's got a design company. And he'd post, you know, like samples of his work. And, and then he started posting like, you know, marketing stuff where I started looking at it and thinking, yeah. You know, I think maybe t-shirts aren't as you know expensive as I think. Like maybe I can get some t-shirts reasonable. And man, I, I was I was right. He was right. He sent me some samples, got me some t-shirt like different colors and different brands. And uh, I picked some. I'm gonna probably try some other ones and order more from him. I love these things. They're great quality. And and man, I'm telling you, the material is just what I'm looking for. It's lighter and it's more. Uh, wicking, I guess, if that's what you call it. So, you know, if I, if I get hot, I don't feel as hot, you know, without it being like that Under Armour skin tight stuff. So I want to thank Matt Shelton, my good buddy from college, who is, is making his way in the world and doing a great job. You can check his website out at mattsheltondesign.com. 
Dot net. Um, and you'll search him out online. He's got uh, social media. But if you look him up, his website is Knoxville. It's got it Knoxville all over it. And it's got a uh, like a yellow jacket. It's very cool. Very cool website. So Matt Shelton Design dot net. Uh, and I, man, I want to thank you for letting me uh, jump on board your clientele list. Um, I hope it will be a long relationship. So if you need marketing materials, T-shirts or anything, look, these are great quality. If you need anything like that, Matt Shelton Design dot net. Uh, and you can link to him through my website at joshbrandonmedia.com slash recommendations. So if you need anything, uh, promo materials or t-shirts for your business or your company or whatever it is you need, man, right here, joshbrandonmedia.com slash recommendations. And that's where you'll find the link to mattsheltondesign.net. <laughs>